I would like to talk about you, and you have no idea how difficult that is for a man with an ego the size of mine. Okay, but well, I'm going to be talking about you. To quote my um, my favourite author, Dr. Seuss. Today you are you, that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. So this is all about you. The conversation I'm about to have with you now isn't between me and the organisation you represent. It isn't between me and the company you work for. This is a conversation between me and you. It's all about you. Now we've established it's all about you. Let's talk about me. My name is Peter Wardell and I am a professional magician. Actually, I am an international award-winning professional magician. Get me and my bad self, eh? <laughs> and you might find it odd that you have a magician talking to you at your conference. But magic is an enormous topic. And an interesting fact that you might not know, magic has attributed to it the third largest body of literature in the world. And it comes third after only medicine and pornography. I found that really difficult to believe. I've never read a book on medicine. So I am going to be talking about magic, but not the kind of magic that you need a top hat, a cape, and a hairpiece to do. I'm going to talk about the kind of magic that's available to every single person in this room. What I want from you, what I would love from you, is at the end of this, that you can possibly see what you do in your life as a fantastic performance. A performance in which you're the writer, the director, the choreographer, the stuntman, and of course the star performer. Okay, you're all performers. You just gotta to choose to perform. In my job as a professional magician, it's always been my drive to perform and create amazing experiences time and time again. And in effect, that makes my job absolutely no different from yours. And I believe, I genuinely believe, that every single person in this room has the ability to be amazing and to do amazing things. So, um, so what I'm going to talk about... I'm going to talk about magic. Magic stands for, the M stands for meaning and misdirection. This is where the performer uses invisible forces and mind control. Then I'm going to talk about the A, which is action and accountability. This is where the performer proves that nothing is impossible. We're then going to talk about G, gratitude and generosity. This is the use of magic words and magic gestures. The I stands for ideas and imagination. And this is where the performer literally creates something out of nothing. And then finally, C is challenges and choices. And this is where the performer determines the outcome of future events. So you need to take accountability for all of the actions that you take. And you need to take actions because that's what's going to move you forward. You see, we're all really, really good at acknowledging the big things. The things that make a difference to us. But very often it's the little things, the things that mean something to someone else, that we should be grateful for. See, there's a type of creativity that we use every day, and that's more conceptual than artistic. And conceptual creativity isn't about thinking differently. Conceptual creativity is about thinking directly. Now at this point, somebody normally shouts out, the balls haven't really gone. Oh. <laughs> then somebody else shouts out, he's not a real magician. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> Thank you. Very much indeed for your time and for your attention. I do hope something I've said has been of some value to you. Have a fantastic conference. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. Thank you.